In this episode, I'm gonna cover inspecting the widgets in Flutter. I'll start off by opening up the dev tools and then I'll use the inspector to find a widget. And then after that, I'll talk about investigating the widget tree, the window tree, and then using semantics to help define the widgets in the subtrees. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna to go to my IDE and I'm gonna use one of the projects I created in a previous episode and it's a simple project. So I'm gonna get it up and running here and start the project up. While it's doing that, I'll minimize the bottom. And over here on the left, I have created a small subtree of widgets. And on the right, let's, for instance, I can look. If, I, if you don't know where you, how I opened this Flutter outline, let me minimize that. Well, there's two Flutter, Flutter outline and Flutter inspector. And by the way, if you don't like it on the right side, let me just move it to the left side. And I can have it on the left side. But I tend to like my tools on the right side, whether it be the structure. Let me just move the structure. The structure is nice to have too. And the structure is the dart outline. The flutter outline is the widget outline. And, and there's some nifty tools I want to share in the next episodes coming. And then we have the flutter inspector. And by the way, if you don't, if you see blank area here, go ahead and click on the device up here because you can have multiple devices and for each device you can investigate the tree. And so, okay, let me see. I want to see the properties of demo me. So I'm going to select on this target here. If I hover for a second, it'll be toggle select widget mode. Okay. So I selected that. I go over and now I can select a widget. Okay, so the first selection, I just hit down and tap on it and it shows me the widget and then it focuses in on the widget tree. And you can see there's quite a few widgets in this tree to develop that. Okay, once I've selected one widget, let's say I wanna focus in on another widget. So I'm gonna go and hit the finder icon down there, finder button, and then I can move to a different widget. Hit the finder, or magnifying glass icon, and then I can focus in on another widget, let's say the app bar. Okay, one of the things is, okay, once I've found the widget I'm looking for, I can focus in on it and I can see properties that are set. So the text align is set to start, text direction, soft wrap, and such. So this gives me a better representation in a different way or another angle of able to look in and investigate the widget because I may be looking at code that I've walked on a project to and then I can investigate it with the widget tree and kind of focus in on it. If I look at the buttons, there are a couple different things. I can jump to the type source and investigate what that is. And, and one of the things is, okay, I can't figure out where I'm at in the tree. Well, then there's a, a, a widget for that. There's always a widget for something. Okay, so let me just define that widget. Okay, so I'm gonna go over and look for a child widget. And okay, so what I'm gonna do here is replace this and insert a semantics. So I'm gonna go new semantics. And its child is going to be, let me just lead off with a comma there too. Its child is going to be what I just cut there. And let me do auto formatting. Okay, so then I have a semantics. Okay, what can I do with semantics? Let's just look at the docs first. Okay, command click on semantics. Scroll up to it. A widget that annotates a widget tree with description of meaning of the widgets. So that's exactly what I'm after is be able to be able to help me understand what this tree is over here on the right. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to main, semantics, control. I'm gonna add a label and I'm gonna call this my switchy um, button. Okay, so I'm gonna hit hot reload and just see if it changes anything on the left. Okay, it doesn't. So what I wanna do is then, it's in widget finder mode, turn it off, turn it on. I That's redundant but I just wanted to show okay so it's on then I'm gonna hit on switchy okay if I look at the tree over here I don't see switchy defined so if I look at the window tree I don't see switchy defined let's see do I see it okay nope okay so what I want to do is look at the flutter outline and over here I have semantics now and it has a label of switchy button Okay, so what would be nice is to be able to go to the inspector and actually see switchy button as well. But if I look up, I should be able to see semantics. 
and see the value of it. Okay, so the label is not showing up in the widgets tree, so I would call that a bug. So I suspect in the future when you look at this, it's probably gonna re uh, update that value of the semantics. So, but it's a tool in the works, it's a tool coming, and it's pretty cool what you can do. There's some other features up here which you can do layouts and, and what are these other buttons? Let's just toggle platform mode and performance overlay, time view, and observatory. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So the tools are starting to develop into a nice, rich experience to be able to debug your plat for your application. So it's getting easier to understand the tree of widgets. So that really concludes this episode and how to use semantics in your debugging experience to make it a little easier. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks on Flutter, and I'll catch you later.